It is really hard to get it. Their uteyaki is really good, believe it or not. You can do the karaoke inside the yakitori restaurant. Ryan's TV. Hey guys, welcome to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Senokao. Today, I'm in Shin Imamiya, which is near Namba. Finally, I came back to Osaka and then tried to make an Osaka video. Well, still, there are so many touristic places that I have to introduce. However, you know, you guys want to know the local spot as well, right? So in this video, I try to introduce kind of like a local hidden street near Shin Imamiya. You know, that's kind of like a tiny street, so many people miss that place. However, you know, there are so much Japanese atmosphere and then that street hasn't changed yet. Alright, so firstly, let me explain how to get there. Let's go! Janjan Yokocho Food Street is not far from Tsutenkaku Street. However, it's hard to find. The way to get there is really simple. So just remember where to make turn. If you don't know about Shinsekai Main Street, I made an introduction video of Shinsekai Main Street. So please check that video. It's one of the most popular food streets in Osaka. So definitely, you'd better know about it before you visit Osaka. Well, so that's the Tennoji Zoo. When you see the Tennoji Zoo, don't try to keep straight. Otherwise, you're gonna end up to the Tennoji Zoo. Well, Tennoji Zoo is a nice place though. If you wanna know more about the Tennoji Zoo, please check out that video. But anyway, this time I try to introduce the Janjan Yokocho, which is a different place. So when you see the Tennoji Zoo, you have to turn right over here. Yes, you see, tiny street you are getting to, right? That's where you have to go. Let's keep going. After you made a right turn, you just need to keep straight. It is really simple, right? Just make sure to turn right on the right corner. Well, so this is the entrance of Janjan Yokocho. You see? The atmosphere is totally old Japan, right? There were not so many people visiting this street. However, recently there are many travelers coming to this place, so, you know, street gets busier. Do you see the sign over there? They said Janjancho. But yeah, somehow Osaka local, anyone call this place Janjan Yokocho. Whatever. All right, so let's check inside the street. Janjan Yokocho was used to be a really popular street in early 20th century, which is about 100 years ago. However, since the street was not used anymore, this place became a dead street. There were not so many people on the street like now. However, recently, because of this street's retro atmosphere, many travelers come visit this place to remember old Japan. And now, it became one of the travel spots for foreign travelers as well. At the entrance of Janjan Yokocho, you can find the Kushikatsu Daruma, which is one of the most popular Kushikatsu chain restaurant in Osaka. If you visit Osaka, you can find this guy in many places. I'm inside the street. As you see, there are many standing bar style restaurants. You know, all the Japanese style. Recently, many restaurants have seat, but this place, some restaurants, even there is no seat, and then you can eat and drink with standing. The price is cheaper. However, I'm not sure whether you can relax or not. But they have a traditional Japanese style, sweet. Holomon restaurant looks 
good as well. Well, I tried to escape from the packed street, so I came here at 3 p.m. But even if it's in 3 p.m., there are so many people. As I said recently, there are many travelers in this Janjan Yokocho. So recently, they are making a lot of touristic places as well. So even if you don't eat much in here, you can enjoy that. Yep. And look at this takoyaki restaurant. Restaurant does not look like clean as the Dotonbori restaurant. However, the price is the local restaurant price. Six takoyakis for 350 Japanese yen. Yep. Uh, in Dotonbori, six takoyakis cost like a 500 Japanese yen. Yes, definitely cheaper. That's good, right? Look at this guy over here. His name is Billy Ken. It's a guardian angel mascot of Shin Imamiya area. Therefore, you will see him in many places in Shin Imamiya area. Again, it's a tiny street, right? I recommend to come over here, not in the lunchtime. Because in the lunchtime, this street will be so hot with many people. Look at that restaurant over there. That's a small yakitori restaurant, but it's not a regular yakitori restaurant. Believe it or not, you can do the karaoke inside the yakitori restaurant. Also, you can enjoy yakitori with drink and the karaoke. It's like a small bar style restaurant. It is not easy to find in Japan, trust me. But, uh, you know, since this place is really local, still there. Sweet, right? Okay, so let's explore more. If you play games, you might realize that those are the old games, right? Yes, there are so many high-tech game centers in Japan, but this place, different. Well, it's really nice retro-style game center, which is an amusement place. However, traditional Japanese style. They can smoke inside the game center, so a bit smoky. However, you see, you know, since this is retro-style, you can play video game with 50 Japanese yen, which is a half price compared to usual place, I believe. Yep, it's good, right? And then also, look at that! There is a Matsuri shooting game. This is a really popular shooting game in summer festival called Shateki. If you win, you can get those snacks. Well, it looks really fun. However, trust me, it is really hard to get it. Alright, so let's keep walking. You know, since this is a really local Osaka place, the vending machine is a uh, Hanshin Tigers, which is a uh, Osaka baseball team. <laughs> nice. And for me, this is the signature of Osaka's Janjan Yokocho. This is the Shogi and the Go Club. Many people play there, mostly old people though. Seems like they're having fun, right? If you love Shogi and the Ego, you can come over here and then you can find someone to play. It's really nice, right? And in front of that Shogi and the Ego place, there is a Tengu restaurant. This restaurant is really popular. You know, now it's 3 p.m. So not so many people waiting. However, trust me, if you come over here on the weekend, noon time, you have to wait for that for a very long time. Their doteyaki is really good. So you got to try it if you come over here. All right, so let's keep walking. Yep, seems like it's almost end of the street.
Speaking of this street, there is a roof on top, so you can enjoy this street even in the rainy day. However, it's a tiny street, so the street will be packed though. So, this is one of the popular cheap sushi restaurants. You can eat the sushi 50 Japanese yen for a piece. Well, they serve it three pieces for one dish, so the minimum price is 150 Japanese yen, but still, it's cheap enough. They have kind of fresh sushi, so if you want to try the cheap, good local sushi, maybe this place is good for you. Next to the sushi restaurant, there is Kushikatsu Izakaya. They have many kinds of food you can enjoy, and especially, they have all-you-can-drink menu. It's only 1,000 Japanese yen for 60 minutes, so if you drink a lot, you can come over here. Wow, look at this! Yes, that's the suppon, which is a soft-shell turtle. Nice! Well, I haven't tried the suppon yet, but I heard it, it's really good. Speaking of the price, 8,500 Japanese yen for one turtle. Yes, it is really expensive. However, someone told me that's like a medicine food. I can have energy if I eat the suppon. So, I want to try it one day. Interesting. Speaking of this restaurant, this place called Yamatoya, which is one of my favorite restaurants. You know, there is uh, another Yamatoya near Tsutenkaku, and I made a video. They have a really good sushi with cheap price. So, if you want to see how the Yamatoya sushi looks like, please check out the video. Alright, so let's keep walking. Huh. Takoyaki belly. Seems like this restaurant is pretty new, I believe. Six takoyakis for 350 Japanese yen. Yes, much cheaper compared to Dotanbori. And then, finally, there is a ramen restaurant. And this is at the end of the street. Let me go back to the entrance. Alright, so I came back to the entrance. As you see, it's really tiny, short street, right? However, there are so many restaurants, I'm sure you can enjoy the old Japanese atmosphere. And especially, this place is really close to Shinsekai. So, you know, if you come over to Shinsekai Street, make sure visit here as well. Don't miss that, because there are many people miss this place. Please share the video with your friend. It will really help me to grow my channel. Alright, so this video pretty much that's it. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. Your subscription really encourages me to take a next video. Hope you like the video. Oh, and don't forget to check my Instagram account as well. Thank you very much. Arigato. So, bye bye.